are gone. Now the bantering. Wow. You know, I was saying this yesterday, whether you actually were watching so early in the morning or you watch the news coverage throughout the day. This is kind of the thing that you would expect to see in the crown jewels. You really would. It looks like something that was fit for royalty. And I want to call your attention to the fact, by the way, I have 200 of these, and I know it sounds like a lot, but when you consider that we are in 92 million plus homes, it's not a lot to say you have 200 of a, 200 of a ring like this. Okay, the big news about this ring is you're getting 3.15 carats just in the tanzanite. They're all 6 by 4 millimeter ovals. So that means, let's see, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 ovals. 8 ovals, so 8 into, let me think of math on this one. You're getting ovals that are almost, almost 40 points a piece. Almost. About 36 points a piece. 37 points a piece. Unreal. More than a third of a carat in every oval tanzanite that you see here. There are people today that are putting a single third of a carat tanzanite, a single one, and you're getting eight of them in a band and selling it for much more than we're doing this entire band ring. Then, on top of the tanzanite, try to use express automated ordering, you have that micro pave diamond at the top and at the bottom. And this is not over the top. This is just simply scalloped. It's pave set. It's tasteful. It's the most elegant design. But you're getting something that is above and beyond one of the most rare, exotic, collectible gemstones in the world. Again, express automated ordering is the easiest way to go on this because we are so very, very busy. I wish we had more. Unfortunately, with the way things are going with Tanzanite today, who knows when or if we will ever be able to do anything comparable to this. I'm just going to talk for a moment about the history of Tanzanite because it's such an interesting stone historically. It was first discovered in 1967 in Tanzania. That's the only place in the entire world it's ever been discovered. So it is a single source gemstone. It was introduced here in the United States in 1969 by Tiffany and Company. They had the trade agreement with Tanzania for the, so they christened it. They named it for the very gem rich East African country, which was the only place it's ever been found. Well, so at first, when Tanzanite was introduced in the United States, the only place that you could buy it was at Tiffany Company. Well, that changed in the late 70s. In fact, we're credited with bringing Tanzanite to everyone here at HSN. But probably about 13 years ago, the mines were basically closed. There was a lot of flooding, a lot of terrible things that happened in the area where they mine this very small mining um, expedition, actually, compared to the way they mine a lot of stones. And so, uh, very unfortunate. The mines were closed, um, you know, due to torrential downpours, that kind of thing, and uh, flooding. And so they were really, for all intents and purposes, never fully reopened. Now, today there is some very little mining going on, but nothing like it used to be. And every single day, what little exists in terms of the mining operation, they're going deeper and deeper into the face of the earth. I mean, we are talking every single day going deeper and deeper, and they're yielding fewer and fewer pieces of tanzanite, period. And they're certainly yielding fewer and fewer pieces of tanzanite, of this size and of this color. There's really no top gem quality tanzanite that they're finding pretty much anymore. What they're finding is silver tanzanite. They're finding colorless tanzanite. They call it colorless zoocyte. So to get this is like owning a piece of gemstone history. It's like owning a moment in history in gemstones because it was only discovered in 1967 and now in 2011 it's pretty much gone. Experts are saying it will completely be gone in our lifetime. And if that's the case, can you imagine owning a piece of tanzanite? Can you think about that for a second? The lowest appraised price on this was $575, $575. We're doing it at $62.48 on your charge card. And, you know, you even think about it in comparison to, let's say, Alexandrite. I mean, hundreds of years ago, there were Alexandrites, natural Alexandrites that people could get in six, seven, eight carats. Today, if you get a carat, it can be tens of thousands of dollars if it's the right kind of Alexandrite. So again, that's because they're not actively mining Alexandrite like they used to. So think about what's going to happen as the demand for tanzanite increases.
because it is a distinctively different gemstone. The demand increases, the supply continues to decrease. Oh my gosh, with everybody on the phone lines, I have 97 remaining. 97 remaining. We're going to keep you updated. I'm going to leave this one out.